moral philosophy in, in the 20th century started out on a very theoretical and meta-ethical direction um, and, and tended to, to dismiss the, the idea that moral philosophers have much to contribute to, to actual practical question of the kind that, that interests um, the person outside the, the ivory tower here. Derek was, was one of the major figures to, to change that. There are a lot of people who, kind of towards the second half of the 20th century, rediscovered ethics as a practical discipline, as, a, as an area where you can think very carefully about concrete ethical issues in medicine or war or um, politics and so forth. Derek wasn't one of those people. He, he, he stayed focused on those large-scale philosophical question of very foundations of ethics. But at the same time, he managed to show and discover all sorts of ways in which those theoretical questions that maybe earlier philosophers thought would be relevant to practice actually have you know, enormous practical implications. So by thinking very deeply about some of the core concept of ethics, you can discover things that by looking at some uh, issue in medical ethics you may never notice, but things that, that have such wide ramifications that they can change the way you think about ethics generally. Dirk has done that in, in very many um, ways, some to do with the very fundamental concept of personal identity and what distinguishes us from each other, if anything very deep, and what matters when we are born or when we die, pretty much as fundamental as you can get. Um, then another area that has probably had the uh, most direct impact to some areas of practical ethics, including my own work, on one work of some of my colleagues, has, have to, has to do with this um, topic that is now known as population ethics, which Dirk pretty much created uh, uh, several decades ago, and which we're still trying to figure out, and, but everybody agrees it's of incredible practical importance. Range from question about whether we should have a larger world population or whether we should um, try to cut down on reproduction and, and maybe we have too many people, how many people um, around would be ideal or better or worse. question that people before Derek haven't seriously thought about as strange as it may sound. He managed kind of in a kind of laser-like um, vision to spot things that were always around but, but um, lots of... Um, other incredibly smart philosophers over many centuries managed to miss questions uh, that are really fundamental. Also how we relate to future generations, um, all of those questions that are kind of very much at the foreground of a lot of political and ethical issues that are the center of the 21st century um, requires to rethink ethics in the way that we know it and, and Dirk is probably the you know, well, I would say, in my view, certainly the person who has done the most to open those vistas for, for exploration has already not only identified the question but managed to explore them to an incredible extent, but just you know, leaving quite a bit for lesser uh, figures uh, to, to continue to, to um, explore and, and spell out the practical implications.